Let me show you one way to find out the higher order moments of Poisson random variables. So, <coughs> we say x is Poisson if probability of x equal to k is e to the power minus lambda, lambda k over k factorial, k takes all uh, integer values including 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. all the way to infinity. So, this is a discrete random variable. Uh, Ultimately, the probability is here, here is k, this is probability of x equal to k. So, this is p0, p1, etc. So, remember the, <coughs> so by definition, the uh, probability of x equal to k, k equal to 0 to infinity is uh, e raised to minus lambda, lambda k over k factorial is 1. So we get the identity that e raised to lambda equals sigma uh, lambda k over k factor. This is an identity. So I'm going to take the derivative of this on both the sides with respect to lambda. So I get first the derivative gives me here k equal to 0 to infinity k multiplied by lambda d over k minus 1 over k factorial. And notice that let me multiply by a lambda on, and uh, in fact, we can let me take the derivative one more time. So then you get <coughs> uh, one more time, this will give you k equal to 0 through infinity, k multiplied by k minus 1, lambda k more k minus 2 over k factorial, etc. So if you do n times, you, you get the idea. So you get. Uh, lambda equals summation k equal to 0 through infinity k, k minus 1, k minus 2, etc. k minus n minus 1. This is n times it. Lambda to the power k minus uh, n over k factor. Now let me multiply by <coughs> lambda to the power n on both the sides. So I get the identity that uh, lambda to the power n and then I'm going to take the e raised to minus stuff in, inside. So I get k equal to 0 through infinity k multiplied by k minus 1 except for k minus n minus 1 e raised to minus lambda lambda to the power k over k factor. But notice that this is nothing but probability of x equal to k. So the right side turns out to be expected value of x multiplied by x minus 1, etc. x minus x minus n minus 1. Equal to lambda n. So for example, put n equal to 1, you get expected value of x equal to lambda, put n equal to 2. So we get expected value of x is lambda. Put n equal to 2, you get expected value of x multiplied by x minus 1 is lambda squared. So from here, expected value of x squared equals lambda squared plus expected value of x, which is lambda from the top line, and so on. So you can compute all the higher order moments in this fashion.